Hello everyone. In this episode, I'd like to show you how you can adjust skeletons for custom character morphs in DAS Studio. That's an important step if you've made your custom character outside of DAS Studio, be that in ZBrush or Blender, or if you've combined morphs from existing sliders in DAS Studio, and if you've exported that as an OBJ, brought it back in and your character is now a single slider on the existing Genesis figure, what can happen and what will happen is that when you dial in a pose, the character looks seriously weird. And here's a solution to that. So this was brought up to my attention, by the way, from one of my earlier videos about how to combine things with Morph Loader and with Hexagon by one of my viewers, E. Christopher Clark. Thank you so much for bringing that to my attention. Christopher is an author and he makes book covers for his own books with DAS Studio. It's a very creative use of DAS Studio. I'll leave a link to his his Amazon author page in the description if you want to check it out. So thank you so much for bringing that to my attention. And I thought I'd make a video about it because, you know, this is important for all of us. I'll show you the whole process of how to, what the, what the problem is and also the solution. So I'll bring in my, in my case, it's a custom morph for the Genesis 3 figure. Here she is. That's the basic Genesis 3 figure. And I will add my custom morph with Morph Loader. So I've described that in a previous video. We just go up to Edit Object Morph Loader Pro, where I will go and find my morph, which is this one here. And it's a stylized kind of cartoon morph. It looks very different than the regular Genesis figure. So with the figure selected under parameters, I can find my morph and I can go and dial it in. So it looks decidedly different. Now, if I dial this morph up and I go and apply a pose to the character, maybe just one from the, from the regular Genesis starter essentials here, you'll notice that this doesn't look so good. I mean, she looks like an alien now with the really weird arms and all that. And it really depends on your character. This really doesn't look good, does it? So <laughs> it really depends on your character and how far away the rigging is in your character from the target character or from the base Genesis character. So this might be more extreme than, ugh, yeah, this might be very extreme on some poses and <laughs> less extreme on others. But you get the picture. This is not what I want my character to look like. So I'll go back to the T pose and show you the solution of how to fix this thing. So with my character selected and my morph dialed up to 100%, make sure it's set to 100%, we go and switch over to this other scary tool here, which is called the joint editor. It's either this little icon here that you can switch over to, or you can head over to tools and then pick it from here joint editor just in case you don't have that icon in the toolbar it's easy to reach with the with the menu and with this selected you can now see the bones that make up the rigging of my character what we can already tell is that the skeleton here that is not in the place where my character is so really all these bones they should be with her arms and i can tell that the hip bones here they're, they're kind of too high or like her hip is kind of here rather than here and this all that uh, dastardly doesn't really know about that yet and that is why my morphs come out so crazy so to change that we need to do two things number one is we need to Add, match the skeleton to where the actual figure is. And then we need to marry that setting up to my morph slider that says, hey, that skeleton needs to be adjusted at this point for this position of that slider. And everything else that happens in between is much like what happens between two keyframes of an animation. It'll be interpolated. And Das Studio usually gets it right. So with my character selected and with the joint editor tool selected, I need to go and right click on my character that brings up this menu here one of which is under edit there's a thing called adjust rigging to shape and that's what you need to do and that will take care of putting the skeleton in the right place so let's do that edit so right click edit then adjust rigging to shape and then you go and click on this and there's a fairly scary dialogue that comes up but we can ignore what it says we can just accept the defaults it allows you to be really granular about what parts of the skeleton you'd like to adjust we're just going to hit accept das studio is going to think about it for a moment and watch what happens to the skeleton as it's done thinking about it it pops it right into the correct place. So her hips are now correct and her arms are now correct. And uh, there's still two things that are kind of sticking out on the head here, but I think we 
can probably ignore that. That's okay. Don't worry about that. So <laughs> that is that is number one. The skeleton is now in the right place. But now we need to tell the morph slider that it needs to use this skeletal position when it's being dialed up. And that is also happening with my figure selected here on the actual morph slider. So right click on that slider to put it into edit mode. That's important. Right click on it again and notice that there's various other options that have now come up here. One of them is called ERC freeze. So click that and that'll come up with another scary window that you know tells you basically the differences between the regular skeletal position and the adjusted position, the deltas as they call it, in this huge table for literally every joint here, every bone. We can just say, okay, whatever and say accept. And that is all you have to do. The final thing is take the slider out of edit mode because currently I can't move it. I can move the whole slider. So if you ever wanted to move the slider into a different slot here, you can use that. But we're going to just go and disable edit mode here. And now we can use that slider again. And you can see that my figure reacts as expected with the skeleton shifting positions as interpolated values here. When I interpolate between my base character and my custom character, the skeleton doesn't just stay in one position, it now moves with my character and that's perfect. And of course, the other even more important thing is that if I now go and dial in a pose on this character, it's not gonna look like an alien anymore. I will go switch off my joint editor tool just so that I don't see the bones anymore. And in my smart content, I'll just go and dial up some of these poses. And now she looks more or less okay. So it's not quite, I still need to make adjustments because the character looks different than what the pose was designed for. But you know, no more long alien arms. Everything looks kind of perfect, except for the hand and the chin there and stuff. But yes, you get the drift, my friends. That is how you do that. So yes, very important thing to do. ERC freeze on adjusted skeletons for custom characters. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, then please leave them down below in the comments. And um, thank you so much for, for all your support on Patreon and Kofi. I really, really appreciate that. I, it really encourages me, keeps me going. And it's just, you know, I, I love putting out little quick tips like this for you and also share the knowledge that viewers like uh, Christopher bring to me. And, you know, it's, it's lovely to just share this back with you and just, just keep going around and around. I really appreciate that. My friends, have have a wonderful time. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.